Hey everyone, this is Rochelle with Valley Verde and um, I wanted to take a few minutes today and talk to you about fava beans and how to use them as a cover crop in your garden. So this year we are including some fava bean seeds uh, in your gardening uh, kits for your grid and I wanted to explain a little bit about it because it's new. Um, so fava beans are really awesome because they are one of the legume um, uh, plants that actually add more nitrogen to the soil than they take out. So even if you just grow them and then um, want to harvest and eat the beans and the pods, um, and even apparently the flowers are edible, uh, you can do that and it's still going to benefit your garden. However, if you want to use it as like a green manure uh, for fertilizer for even more nitrogen in the soil, uh, you can do that. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit more right now. So I've got my fava beans, uh, Broad Windsor, and I ordered these from Baker Creek Heirloom Seed, a uh, really great uh, or organic um, website uh, for uh, getting your seeds each year. So fava beans are pretty large. Uh, this is one here. You can, it's not necessary, but you can soak them in water prior to planting and this will just speed up germination a little bit. Um, you can plant them anywhere from one to two um, inches deep in the soil. And uh, so I went ahead and this is my uh, bok choy, but I planted my fava beans over here. And so they should take about a week um, to sprout. And then uh, once they do, they do prefer temperatures around 60 degrees to 65 degrees. So it is still a little bit on the warm side. I'm gonna need to um, keep, make sure the soil stays moist while they're um, germinating. So, um, so once they get to be a couple feet tall, um, they can get about this high when the bl the blossoms are just starting um, to bloom, about maybe one third have opened. That is the time where you can cut them down and then you're gonna wanna turn them into the soil and that is going to um, act as a green manure. And what you can do is you can turn them into the soil a couple inches deep and then uh, cover it with either mulch or straw um, and um, that is going to add a ton of nitrogen to your soil and your spring plants will be super happy and thank you for it. Uh, so um, fava beans should be planted about, um, I, I believe, uh, six, eight inches apart. Um, and so all the instructions will be here on the back of your seed packet. Um, ooh, this one's even bigger. So these seeds are awesome. Um, and hopefully soon I'll be having some sprouting fava beans uh, to share with you and uh, I'll update you on the process then. Thanks!